Good everyone, my name is Graphics. If you look at the right hand side of the screen, you see a figure, and that figure, we're told we have reproduced the figure here, as you can see on the screen, and we're told to transform this figure into orthographic projection, right? Looking from the direction here where the arrow is pointing. So what I'll do here is when you hear the word autographic relation is for you to draw your autographic um, axis that is you're going to draw your horizontal line this way all right and you also draw your vertical line this way too right and you're going to split it into two so from this center where it meets here you measure five five millimeter upward so from here measure five up and five down you can use ten if you want to and you do the same thing at that point too now this point too and you do the same thing horizontally too from zero do five up five down right and you draw it down hope you can see that this is the first thing we're going to be doing now the next thing is for you to start measuring. Since the arrow is pointing here, means we want to take this as our front elevation. Anyway, the arrow is pointing is our front elevation. So I want to draw in. Um, I can draw in third angle projection, and I can draw in any of them. So let me draw in first angle projection. So my um, front elevation will be here. Then my plan will be here, and my end view will be here. Any way you want to put it. So let's start from here my front elevation at this point so if as you come here you know very well that the height from here to here will be giving us what you can see on the screen given to be what 40 as you can see on the screen the height is what is 40 so i'm going to measure 40 upward this way drawing in first angle projection so from here, this is 40. Can you see that? And the length is given to be what? From here to here. So given to be what? 80. How? This arc here has a radius of what? Of 20. Why? Because the diameter from here to here is 40. So that 20 plus the 40 that you see here, plus this arc also here is 20. The radius is what 20 because of the diameter of the circle is what 40. So 20 plus 40 plus 20 will give us what 80. So I'm going to measure 80 from here. So from 0 to 80. Can you see that? Then I'm going to project it upward this way. And I'm going to close it here too this way. Hope you can see that now we are giving the thickness here 10 so first of all i'll take in from the beginning here straight down to the end in here why am i taking it because we are looking at a curve right vertically at the curve we are looking perpendicular to a curve you'll be seen as a straight line so if you see all this curve here you see as a straight line that is why i'm drawing a straight line so from the beginning of this to here is like a straight line and when we thickness the height also the same thing too you see it as well a straight line too so i'm going to draw this that is the height we see it as well a straight line from here to here now aside that the thickness here is given to be what 10 so i'm going to measure 10 here from 0 to 10 
0 to 10 to, to 1 is 10 right and I can easily just take it if I want to so let's take it out right and the diameter from here to here is what 40 because the radius is 20 so I'll just come here I'll measure 40 is 40 then I'll bring it down and I'll bring it on down to here to this way right and I'll take it from here straight down to here can you see that so I'll get the center of this line to draw my center line so the center is 20 because then I'll draw my center line at that point having long short long short short long can you see that so I will now extend this to come in a little depending on how you want to extend it so this will come in a little here. This will be two. And here too we take into. We'll be seen that the straight line. And I'll close it up too. The next thing is I'll measure from here to here is 20. That'll be the center from here to here is the 20 we're talking about. So I'll draw my center line there. Long, short, long, short, long. Can you see that? Then the next thing I'll do is to get these two centers, our these two inner circle. Since they are inner circle, you cannot see them looking from the side, right? So you are going to show that they are there, but in a different way by using what they call hidden line. So if I should measure ten in both sides, will give me twenty, right? So this is 10 and this is 10. Here also, this is 10 and this is 10. That, so at this point, I'll be having this. At this point, I'll be having this. Can you see that? I'll come here too. At this point, I'll be having this. Here also I'll be having this. Can you see that? So showing that there is a true a circle going through this given figure. And we are successfully drawn out this shape here. Is that again? Now this is the elevation. Now we want to draw out the plan. Plan means looking at it from the top. So what I will do is the thickness, the width of the plan is what is also 40. So I am going to measure 40 from here. 0 to 4 is 40. Right? So before I will do that, let me get the center first. From 0 to 20. Is the center of what 40 right so i'm going to draw my hidden line there this way like long short long short long short long short long short long all right then i'm going to take my compass and draw what i want to draw there so let's do that so when i place it from here to here you can see that i will mark here then I'll come here and I'm going to draw my this layer. So from here, I've drawn this semicircle because you're looking from the top, you see this part of it, looking at it from the top. The next thing is, after you've gotten this arc, you will now come here and you're going to draw this this way also faint line long short long short as well as the foot are we good so 
you do the same thing here remember there's a circle at the top here so when i place it here i'm going to draw that circle Finish that, then I'm going to join from here to here. And from here to here. Finish that. Then the next one that we'll be doing is another circle in between here so i can usually place it from here to here now come here and i'm going to draw this circle you now come here too and do the same thing too this circle looking from the top you're going to see this which is this you're going to see this which is this and your external one which is that too so you can easily just stick in here you can just stick in here this way with hope you can see that now we will not need to draw the end view now so our end view will come in like this at this junction here you draw out your 45 degree this way and you project each and every part here so if i bring this out i'm going to take it up I'm going to close it here too. I'll bring this too, so meaning that you are looking at it from here. Now that's the end view. You see this thickness, which is this thickness here. You will see it like a straight line. You see this thickness too, which is this. Then the height, also. Any curve looking at it directly will be seen as what well as a straight line. And this curve you see and here is in the straight line. And I'm going to what close it up. Can you see that? Now there's a true this and this. So I'll just project this this way to touch here and this to what also touch here. So if I project it up, if I should project it up. From this point, here will be a hidden line. Straight down. If I come here too, here will be a hidden line. Straight down. Can you see that? So the center line is the center line here. And there are center line here. I'll draw my center line long, short, long, short, long, short, long. Here also. Long, short, long, short, long, short, long. So this is all we have. Looking at it, this is the first angle projection of this figure you see. Right? If you're looking at it from this side, this is what you're going to see. These two circles, they will be the same diameter. That is why it seems as if there is only just one hidden line we have. So this is what we have in first angle projection. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.